Welcome back to ZOS Introduction. This is the 27th video in the series. The learning objective is to 1. Describe IPL process. 2. Describe IPL device and load palm device. 3. Describe support element and HMC. 4. Determine IPL and load palm device using MVS commands. And 5. Determine load palm member Reddit IPL time. ZOS Startup needs two disk device addresses. One disk device has a bootstrap located at the beginning cylinder of the disk device. A second disk device has the load parameter information. When you power on your workstation to start up the operating system, a disk device with a boot record is required to begin the process. Starting ZOS is called the Initial Program Load, IPL. ZOS requires a boot record to begin the process. The ZOS boot record is called the bootstrap. The bootstrap is located at the very beginning of a disk volume, cylinder 0. Immediately after the bootstrap is the IPL text with IPL records and the IPL control program which is IEA IPL00. A disk management utility exists to write a ZOS bootstrap at cylinder 0 on a target disk device address. The JCL in the chart is executing disk management utility ICKDSF to reformat disk volume at device address 1000. The reformat includes writing data records, which is IPL RECs, and the IEA IPL00 from sys one samplelib shipped with ZOS. If you are wondering how to bring up a newly installed mainframe with newly installed disk storage, a bootstrap IPL is possible from a mounted tape device. While a personal workstation has a BIOS on the motherboard to provide many firmware functions required to load the personal workstation operating system, the IBM Z mainframe has a Linux workstation that provides the necessary firmware functions required to load an operating system into an IBM Z logical partition, LPAR. The Linux workstation is inside the IBM Z frame and is called a support element, SE for short. An external Linux workstation called the Hardware Management Console, HMC for short, can perform the same functions as the SE. The HMC interfaces with numerous IBM Z mainframe SEs from a central location in the data center. In the example shown, ZOS2 LPAR can be selected from the HMC images work area, then load selected from the CPC recovery area. The result of ZOS2 load operation is another display specifying the disk device load address with the bootstrap and the load parameter disk device address. The example shows 1000 as the IPL device and 0CE3 as the load palm disk device address. The W1 suffix is passed to locate specific load parameter information on disk device address 0CE3. In the example shown, the IPL text on the IPL device at disk address 1000 references sys1.nucleus dataset name containing additional IEA IPL XX modules required to continue with initialization. The load palm device at disk device address 0CE3 contains a dataset name with a member name that begins with load and the W1 suffix. The IPL process requires the IPL PARM dataset name with a high-level qualifier of SysN, where N is 0 through 9. If Sys0.IPLPARM is found, then it is searched 
for a data set member called load W1. If sys0.iplparm does not exist, then the search is for sys1.iplparm, etc. IEA IPL00 clears central storage to zeros, locates sys1 nucleus dataset on the IPL volume, and loads a series of programs from sys1 nucleus known as the IPL Resource Initialization Modules, IRIMs. The Nucleus Initialization Program, NIP, invokes the Resource Initialization Modules, the IRIMs, to begin creating the Normal Operating System Environment Segment Table for the Master Scheduler, the Segment Table Entries for Address Space, Common Storage Areas, and the Page Frame Table. After NIP configures various common storage areas, the NIP loads system modules in those common storage areas. The IRIM functions include read the load PARM information entered on the hardware console at the time the IPL load process was initiated. IRIM will first attempt to locate load XX in the sys0.iplparm and continues until the sysn IPL parm is found where n is 0 to 9. Then it will get the configuration values from the load xx member, which includes the master catalog from the syscat statement, the dataset names with more system parameters from the parm live statements, and the IEA SYS XX suffix values from the SysParm statement, where IEA SysXX is a member name in a ParmLive partition dataset name. IEA SysXX members are the beginning of a parameter tree of configuration values read during the IPL process. To advance your knowledge and skill level, the ZOS MVS Initialization and Tuning Guide and the Knowledge Center URL on the chart are recommended. In summary, you can 1. Describe the IPL process, 2. Describe the IPL device and the load PARM device, 3. Describe the support element in HMC, 4. Determine IPL and load PARM device using MVS commands, and 5. Determine load PARM member read at IPL time. Thank you for your time.